Whew. Now do you see why I use that thicker um, cardboard material, uh, dense material on the floor rather than the craft paper? Hey, if I only had craft paper and that's all I knew, I would have put craft paper down on the floor and still been as careful as I could. And I was still really careful and I probably could have gotten by that way. But most people, uh, you, you know, if you get this stuff here, and like I say, they didn't used to carry this stuff years ago. All they had was craft paper. So I, I, only, met, I only saw this, uh, oh, maybe a couple years ago. And I always keep my eyes open when I go to the Home Depot or, or to the hardware store to see what other types of products they have coming out in the future or in, in, the, in the present that I should know about. And had I not been keeping my eyes open, I wouldn't have known about this stuff. But I'm liking this stuff. It's really dense. Um, I didn't cut any of it when I installed it. I did not cut any of it with a sheetrock knife. I just, I used uh, some tin snips and I cut it that way. It didn't take that long. It wasn't that big of a deal. And it went down pretty good. And um, I'm liking that stuff. I, I, I don't really have a need to use that stuff very often. Uh, but this is one of the jobs that I thought I should use it on. Now speaking of this flooring stuff, you've been watching my videos, you've seen that down this hallway I ran that same material all the way down here, all the way along over here, underneath here. You might think, hey Joe, why didn't you just put it where your plastic area is? Did you really have to do it over here? Well, I, it was, it, it's kind of thick and I wanted to try it out and I had enough so I thought I'll just put that underneath there to minimize any scratching that maybe uh, the refrigerator would, would, would do as it's going back in. And I'm gonna have construction workers here um, after I get that countertops all clean and stuff. The countertop guys are gonna be here in the next few days. And I thought, well, since I'm going this far, why not go ahead and do this? That protects it from them coming in and out, from them dropping anything, dropping any tools, and uh, that sort of thing, you know? So it didn't really take me a little, that much longer to do that. I don't know when I'm gonna use this material next. And um, a few days after the countertops come, then I gotta get the plumber in here and he's gonna be slopping all his tools in here, crawling in and, and doing work underneath the sink. That's why I put double, a double layer right in there for him to hook up the sink, the new garbage disposal, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I figured, hey, shoot, why not? And then a couple days after that, um, we're getting a new washer and dryer, a stackable washer and dryer. And, and they've got to huff it up these stairs. And I figure, hey, I might as well protect the floor on that too. Seems as though I'm going through all this work, having them get the old washer and dryer down here, having them put the new washer and dryer up here. In fact, I might, I don't know, I might even put a little piece of cardboard in here too before they come. Uh, to protect the floor, but they, they've got these uh, straps that they put around their, their shoulders and underneath, and, and it's really amazing how easy it looks to lift washer and dryers when you, when you have that type of uh, strapping. They're going to they're gonna almost run up and down these stairs with the old washer and dryer. I'm not quite sure how they're going to do the new washer and dryer because it's stackable and we got a little ceiling section up in there and I'm hoping they can lift it straight up and over boom 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 because they won't be able to really carry it lengthwise with those straps but it, it'll be kind of interesting to see how they're going to do that so for all of those different reasons you know I thought I would put this stuff down on the floor in the hallway as well so see even even uh after the washer and dryer come and stuff after the countertops get installed after the plumbers here then I'm gonna take this and uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave all the all the uh, flooring material that this matting stuff down until they're all done then before I slide this back into place I'll just cut out I'll remove the uh, the paper that's gonna go underneath underneath the refrigerator and pull it out probably at least to there that long area and I might have to cut that back. I'll just have to measure the depth and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll leave this down all, all on the floor until I swivel that back 
back in there because if you got new flooring, if you got good flooring, uh, you might want to protect it because with it being over here and when you get it over that way, granted it's got wheels on it and I'm going to make big wide sweeping turns. You don't want to, you don't want to uh, uh, turn it too sharp. That way you're using the edge of your wheels and you're liable to put scratches on your new, on your new flooring, on your, on your tile, on your grout lines, on your laminate, wood flooring, on your linoleum, all that kind of stuff for all of those reasons. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave this stuff down until I jockey it back into place. Then I can pull up the rest of it. As it was, when I took it out, I had to be real careful and I was holding my mouth just right and stuff as I was sliding it, kind of, kind of pulling it and making wide sweeps and stuff to get it all the way over here. And it didn't do anything. This is a brand new vinyl planking flooring. It didn't put any scratches, marks on it or anything like that. And so I, I was good to go for that, but hey, you might as well be safe rather than sorry. Hey, so of course I'm gonna make more videos of this project. What am I gonna show tomorrow? Well, more of the same as removing this. Now granted, I didn't show you how I pulled up the concrete and the wire, and I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll do some of that tomorrow and I'll, I'll just show some more stuff. So if you're inclined, if you've been watching the videos up to here, you might, hey, you might as well, you might as well watch the next part of this video series because you never know. I never know from, from video to video what I'm going to say next, what I've already said on a previous video, what I haven't said yet, and all that kind of stuff. You want to keep watching me. Yes, I'm doing this all by myself. Me, myself, and I, the three amigos, and if you want to continue watching this, please stick around. Hey, well, if you will remember on a previous episode, I told you that this is a cast iron sink. It's got a garbage disposal on it. And when I take it out, I, I think I'm going to put it for sale on Facebook Marketplace. And what I should have done, man, daddy nabbit, I should have taken a picture of it uh, prior to starting the work and having the counters all dusty and all that kind of stuff. And uh, later on, uh, before I start ripping this countertop out tomorrow, maybe I'll wipe this, this area down or just get a, uh, a picture, rinse the sink out or something, take a picture of that, take a picture of the garbage disposal underneath and put it on Facebook Marketplace, and I might even have it sold the day that I take it out or over the weekend. If I post it, I could take a picture of it today, which is Wednesday, and it will be up there for Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday. If somebody could pick it up Friday afternoon or over the weekend, and I'll bet you I can make some money on that. I, I'm not quite sure how much I'm gonna ask. I, I'm gonna look at the garbage disposal underneath, I think it's still in really good shape and uh, um, it's a nice it's a nice sink it's it's held up it's an elger it's 15 years old somebody could do uh, some good work with that thing because it, have you priced have you priced cast iron sinks if you need a cast iron sink and if you're going to place it down on top of the counter which most more times than not nowadays they put them underneath the counters Okay, um, they're about a thousand bucks or so at the store. So I might be able to sell that and the garbage disposal for $200, $200 dollars, $225 maybe. I'll see, I'll, I'll look and see if there's any other ones on Facebook Marketplace, see what costs those are. And if anybody knows the cost of those, they'll know that they're getting a good deal, okay? So remember that, that could, that could pay for your additional tools that you need uh, to do a project like this, you'll have those tools for next time. All the fringe benefits of doing things yourself. Why pay someone else when you can do it yourself? I have no idea. So just remember, when you're, when you're taking things out, if you think you can, you can sell it on Facebook Marketplace, 
Do it. You never know what you're going to get until you try. Now, food for thought here. I just got done taking this out. That made a big, huge mess. And when I take up everything around here, I'm going to be constantly having stuff wanting to go in here. I'm going to have to, uh, I guess I can just put uh, uh, some paper towel or something uh, down in the holes and stuff because granted, if I try to take this out uh, towards the, one of the first things, then I'm going to have a hole here in the cabinet, aren't I? And everything's going to get in here. So I think my best bet is to leave this sink in here until the end. That way we can use it for a couple more days if we need it. <laughs>